All right, when they're asking about similar triangles, um, we often don't need to draw two separate triangles, especially because in this case, they're not really asking anything about the side lengths, they're asking about the angles. So this is what makes triangles similar. They might be different sizes, but because the angle measures are the same, they're proportional. So if I were being asked about the sides, I might end up drawing the two triangles. And it does seem like maybe I'm being asked about the sides because they give me this kind of information about the sides, but it's a trick, it doesn't matter. This is irrelevant information here because if it's angles that they care about, all we need to know is that no matter how big these triangles get, one, the, the angle measures are gonna be consistent between them. It's just definitionally what makes them similar. So when I draw this thing, it's a, um, is it a right triangle? No, it doesn't say. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna draw some triangles, okay. So there we go, there's a triangle, and it's called X, Y, Z, is similar to triangle RST, such that X, Y, and Z correspond to RST. So thankfully everything's in the right order. So X, Y, Z, R, S, T, right? So that matches up. So if they tell me that angle Z is 20 degrees, notice that's also angle T. So it just means that angle T is also 20 degrees, it has nothing to do with the side lengths. Yes, one of them is twice as big as the other, but that doesn't affect the angle measures. So this is a very common thing the SAT does. They, they like to ask about similar triangles, so you need to know the rules for that, but they also like to do it in this way where maybe they throw you some extra piece of information you don't use. So that's why it's really important to understand why similar triangles uh, kind of exist and how they, they match with each other and focus really on the angle measures. If we did have to think about sides, we could set up proportions to compare the two, but that's just not involved here. So most of the time it's going to be something this simple where if you just match up the letters, you're going to be able to say it's the same angle or maybe there's some formula because there's 180 degrees in a triangle that you can use, but no matter what, it's much easier than it might sound if you're just reading all this information. It's always just about angles.